Hey, howdy, and good morning. We have our old friend back, Mr. Siemens FS140. Again, one of my favorite surge protectors for a lot of reasons. But I wanted to follow up. We had talked about uh, when we had done some disassembly slash disemboweling uh, some of the other surge protectors. I hadn't done that yet with the FS140. I just wanted you to know these things have gotten so expensive. So um, they're always expensive, but they've my cost on these has almost doubled in the last two or three months. So just want you to realize labor of love. Plus, I love cutting things open. So we're gonna we're gonna do that now. Um, bear with me as we go through. I'm gonna use my fancy uh, Ryobi multi tool. And we're going to go ahead and cut right below this gray seam. That'll get us below the circuit board. And hopefully we can see what kind of uh, MOVs and what kind of circuitry they have inside. So, um, you're going to miss out on the nasty smell of melting plastic. Count yourself lucky. I'm going to put this down. And here we go. <laughs> Plastic is hot. Never mind. Here you go. That is amazing. So what I have to note compared to some of the other ones, look how thick this box is. This thing is, uh, it is built thick and heavy. There you go. So if you want to get close into there, these look like our MOVs. Yeah. Well, there you go. I have to. Uh, I have to admit, in taking this apart, just the, <laughs> just the physicality of this housing, is impressive. This thing is solid. Um, so I hate to say that my 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 uh, my romance with the FS140 just got deeper. I'm really impressed by how stout this, just the way it's put together. Again, the electronics, I don't know because I'm not an electrical engineer. Um, but it is, um, this is a well-built beast. Yeah, wow. So it's worth the money to, to have taken it apart, but it is, um, I came away with looking sort of behind the curtain, so to speak. I, I'm even better with it now than I was before. So there you go. If you guys, just while we're in the mode of cutting, um, if you have another surge protector we want to see the guts of, we will link the other ones that we did because we opened up the Eaton Ultra uh, in the past, and that was three or four months ago. And I think we also opened the Ditec. So you may want to go back and just compare. I'm just looking at the number of MOVs and the size. This thing's pretty beefy. All right, take care. 